<laughs> wow. I'm tempted not to do this monologue because I want to hear this story about Joe DeVito's mirror being stolen. <laughs> but if I don't, then I can't use this. So you're going to tell that story. All right. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm sorry. He may not be Jack Kennedy. He's better. A jacked Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Almost as ripped as me. <laughs> That's obviously the Democratic presidential hopeful RFK Jr. looking less like a politician and more like the king of late night. <laughs> Over the weekend, he posted this video with the caption, getting in shape for my debates with President Biden. Meanwhile, here's Biden getting ready for the same debates. Right now, RFK Jr. is the only presidential candidate whose poll numbers are actually higher than his body fat. <laughs> of course. I mean, the competition isn't exactly fierce. The last time Chris Christie took his shirt off, Greenpeace tried to roll it back in the water. <coughs> Sorry about that, Governor. And Gavin Newsom, here's his workout. <laughs> so... You get it. RFK Jr. is indeed different. He's the most muscular Kennedy family member since Arnold bench pressed the maid. <laughs> anyway, RFK Jr. is almost 70, which shows you that people age differently. Some look like this at 70, and some look like this at any age. <laughs> But RFK comes at a time when America needs it most. We're bouncing back from the pandemic, and we do mean bouncing. The average American who gained weight during the pandemic gained roughly 29 pounds during the lockdowns. I couldn't believe that number either until I realized who threw off the average. <laughs> but I know, 29 pounds, yes. or as they call it in Europe, two and a half cat timps. <laughs> Nice cold. jacket. I'm freezing. It's all right. But RFK Jr. tweeted that as president, he'll push us to exercise, ooh, eat well, and fortify our immune system, which sounds hopeless and terrible. Let's face it, we're a fat country. We love it. Still, I can get behind it because working out is one of the few things you can do yourself that incentivizes hard effort and brings success. It's not like picking stocks or betting on horses or having your dad hook you up with a gig on an oil company board of directors. <laughs> We're not talking about luck here. You get out what you put in. You lift weights and the mirror says, well done. It's why so many young kids avoid trouble when I get them to join a gym. Of course, the gym is in my basement, but you get my point. <laughs> There's just no re replacement for exercise. Well, doing blow and drinking nothing but coffee is a close second, but that's neither here nor there. You work out for real, you get an enviable physique, just like RFK Jr.'s or even mine. <laughs> I know. Don't laugh. You should see me in a girl's small t-shirt. <laughs> Take it from me, because I work out every day. You know, I could go for some push-ups. Right away, Mr. Gutfeld. RFK Jr. is smart. He's not trashing Biden's health, but filming his workouts that allow you to trash him yourself by making the comparison between Captain Ripped and the old fella currently putting socks over his shoes. <laughs> and he's also questioning many of the Democratic orthodoxies, which is why he has more enemies than Andrew Cuomo at a nursing home. Just days after RFK did a podcast with Joe Rogan where he voiced his views on the vaccine, a camera-chasing MD named Dr. Hotez attacked them both, calling the podcast misinformation, nonsense, and just awful. He said this, you know, because he's an expert in health. Well, did we show you who this expert is? <clears throat> and here's a reminder of RFK Jr. Here's a side-by-side. -side. So who's the expert in health? No wonder when Hotez was invited to debate RFK, he turned it down like it was a free gym membership. 
Now, I wouldn't mind having a president who pumps iron who has that discipline, after all. He's not on Twitter all day or hanging out at black tie affairs. The guy hikes, he boats, he lifts, he hunts. Who knew that the most rounded candidate was also the most cut? And imagine if he wins the White House. How would this guy, or even this guy, compare to this? If nothing else, it's got to be better than this. <laughs> I don't know. If he actually be a good president, who knows? But he can't be worse. I mean, from what I've seen, he's sort of an OG Dem, not hyper woke. And RFK's built up his guns while Biden's coming for yours. Mm. You like that, huh? And he's willing to question everything. Who does that remind you of, right? He's a little like the guy who came down that escalator six years ago. The only difference, he'll probably take the stairs. Yeah. Let's yeah. welcome. Grilled more witnesses than Jeffrey Dahmer, host of the True Crime Podcast on Fox Emily Capaglio. He set the North American land speed record for getting a sunburn. Fox News contributor Tom Jalou. He may be a comedian, but he gets more laughs as a father. Actor, writer, and comedian Jamie Lissa. Our show's moving to 10 p.m., but we're still telling her it's at 11. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Kat, too. <laughs> Jamie, we point out to our viewers, our new viewers, that you live in Alaska. So how do you keep in shape there? Do you lift igloo blocks? <laughs> It's hard to, like, the other day I was at the gym and my friend was like, oh, we should do abs. And I was like, no, what? it's going to take so much for someone to even see them. Yeah. Like, why would we bother? No one will even. So it's very hard to stay in shape because you're all layered up, you know? Oh, Dude. yeah, because you're in Alaska. Yeah, and it's like, so you don't bother. But I was watching the videos. I love the greatest hits of Biden. Fall. He's like the first president we've ever had where you, where you have a favorite fall. Of yes. <laughs> You can rank him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, he was making fun of this RFK video. RFK looks great. He did nine push-ups, and Biden was like, man, when I fall on my face, I have people that lift me up. <laughs> His reps came out, Biden's reps came out and said he can actually do, like, he'll do one to two pull-ups mm -hmm. if he's at a dinner in the bathrooms far away. <laughs> <laughs> That's but he, funny. He, he has a morning routine. Biden has a morning routine. I heard he does, like, one set of where am I's. <laughs> And um, they go, it's the president's bedroom. And he's like, we better get out of here before he gets back. <laughs> oh, you got four out of there. So, Emily, I'm going to ask you to forego your comments on the story and tell me what the hell is going on with Joe DeVito. Keep it fast. What happened? What's going on? It's an ongoing investigation, so <laughs> yeah. I can't comment, but I can tell you the rest of the commercial break. No. But his very important mirror went missing. And mirror. Yes, and there is security footage. I'll leave it at that. It's Wait, currently so there's being security footage that somebody stole his mirror. I'm Do sure we know who the person explained. is? It's being investigated. Wait, just tell me, is it somebody we know? <laughs> Does it rhyme with Schmilmead? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to end up being Jesse Waters, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, you can't walk by a mirror without either looking at it or taking it. <laughs> uh, will this, will uh, RFK Jr.'s physique influence how you vote? You being, of course, a woman with very shallow instincts. <laughs> A sexist would say. <laughs> I don't even say that anymore. <laughs> Mr. 10 p.m. already, all right. Um, look, I, what intrigued me about this is the fact that already there's been over 14 million views, soon to be close to 15 million. And we also, in the, in the same week, have learned that almost 7 out of 10 Americans think that Biden is not physically and mentally capable of being a president. Mm. Here he's coming out and making a good point. Everyone gained 100 pounds during COVID. Let's get back in shape. He talked about inflation. He's talking about essentially, let's get back to normal. Human inflation. Because right now, everyone is blown up, literally and figuratively, mm -hmm. and he is tired of it. Um, and you contrast that with the really dismissive nature of the Democrat Party, right? People dared to ask Pelosi about people's questions about his mental competency. A reporter did, and she said, don't bother me with that filth. That's not worth it. That's ridiculous. Newsweek called him a fringe. Esquire called him, RFK a Jr., a crackpot, mm -hmm. called him right wing, said he would be cannon fodder if he goes up to debate 
Biden. But the reality is that he is double digits more than his body fat percentage mm -hmm. uh, rating with the Democrat Party. So the fact that the establishment and the leadership right now is ignoring him, casting him away, dismissing him, means that, as always, they are ignoring what Americans are telling them, which is that they want anyone but Biden. Mm -hmm. That, yes, he is a viable, fantastic candidate because he is anyone but Biden. And he has the good of the country in mind, unlike Biden, who doesn't have anything in mind. Ah, Tommy. <laughs> How do you stay in shape? <laughs> I've noticed. I, I, you know I've noticed you. I, I do. I mean, I, I'll look I at you. Calisthenics, Greg. I'll, I'll look at you when you're not looking, and I'll, I'll go, how does, he, how does he stay so trim? Greg, I do think that that was a great observation about Trump. He is the Trump of this election because he's being himself. He's getting free press mm -hmm. by just, and he's not doing it in a manipulative way. He's doing because he's he's on the cutting edge. He's doing exactly what he believes. And then he does things like this. Like, the guy actually does push-ups, so he takes off his shirt and he does a bunch of push-ups, and it's getting tons of views. And the press is treating him like Trump. They're laughing at him, and they're saying he has no chance in the upcoming elections. I've seen articles that say, there is no chance that this science yeah. denier will ever be president. Well, he's now getting support on the left, but also on the right. Yeah. I know a lot of right-wingers who really like this guy because of his med medical freedom stance. He's better on medical freedom than most people on the right. I think that's a sad thing, but it's also good for the realignment of the country. Trump realigned the country. He got a lot of blue-collar workers to come over to the Republican side. Uh, JFK, RFK Jr. is probably going to do the same thing with people who believe in freedom. Mm. Now... He could always run as an independent and actually win by pulling the left and the right to his side, and they're more independent voters. As you can tell, I'm on the five. <laughs> some, uh, some commentary I heard earlier, Kat. You know, when you look at him, um, do you think that it's all natural? Do you think that he might be doing some stuff, like maybe mixing a little <laughs> testosterone with Ozempic, with a, with a steroidal floater? <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds like his business. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, so... RFK Jr. has said some truly unhinged stuff mm -hmm. over the years, truly unhinged. But the thing is, people tend to overlook that when they're looking for a rebound guy. Yes. Which is exactly what this is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. People are like, okay, they're over Biden. This guy is hot. He's younger. He has abs. <laughs> you know, it's this exact because they're like, okay, you know, he's a little crazy. He's a little wild, but it's a lot he's different a from this boring guy who eats vanilla ice cream and goes to bed at 4 p.m. He's a bad boy. This is exactly like when he's Kim Kardashian started dating Pete Davidson. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think. It but, is. But, yeah, the bad boy Kennedy is back in town. <laughs> Nobody's like, oh, is my rebound guy sane enough? Who wants that? No. You want a Kennedy. You want to get in the back of a Harley and have your hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> you want to be smoking a cancer stick, standing over the body of a drifter. Yeah. <laughs> that does it, Greg. You've inspired me. <laughs> You can do it, Tommy! Nice! Yes, don't stop! Nice! Don't stop, Tommy! Keep going, Tommy! <laughs> Keep going! Don't stop! Don't stop! <laughs> don't stop! There you go. <laughs> wow. Nicely done. See? Nice. Now, all of you, all of you saw what I had seen before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, before we, that was beautiful, by the way. I was impressed Amazing. and then worried. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was kind of, I was wondering if he would do it until death. Yeah. <laughs> All right, before we go, tickets are available for my upcoming book tour with special guest, Mr. Fitness himself, Tom Shalou. We'll be in Clearwater, Fort Myers, Providence, and Reading, Pennsylvania, home of the peanut bar. <laughs> Check out this preview. I love saying that. All right. Gut filled in the house, yo. <laughs> That's that it. Is it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Break the bell. This is great.
Go to ggutfeld.com for tickets before it's too late. <laughs> I don't know what, that's cryptic. Jeez. We're gonna kill all of you. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.